It's the Dogwell Chronicles. It's the Feast of St. Boniface. Born in England in 673 to 680. It was a long, long labor. Or no, I guess I just don't know exactly when he was born sometime in that vicinity. He was a Benedictine monk, a missionary to Germany with St. Albinus, St. Abel, and St. Agatha. He destroyed idols and uh, built or rebuilt churches and dioceses. He was a bishop, archbishop, ordained St. Sola. He evangelized in Harlem. 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 He evangelized in Harlem. No, he evangelized in Holland, but was set upon by pagan troops. He was martyred with his flock of 52, including in there St. Um, Ad Adela and St. Eobon. Eobon. He died in 754. He was a, uh, he is the patron of brewers, tailors, file cutters, and of course, Germany. This is also the Saint Day, Saint the Feast Day of Blessed Meinwerk of Potter, the Potter, Potter, Potterborn. And I just like to say his name, Mind, Blessed Meinwerk of Potterborn. Of course, he is German. Uh, nobility, born of nobility. He was a priest, a chaplain, a bishop. Founded monasteries in Germany. He brought teachers in agriculture, science, and math to teach the laity in the cathedral that he was uh, overseeing. He traveled to Rome and he died in 1036. So, bless you. Again, the church in 1036 was in the per, in the of the job of teaching math science so yeah rem, continue and agriculture continue to say how science and and the church can't coexist remind me again how 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 that works uh so let's ask all the saints to pray for us let's ask saint Boniface, blessed Meinwerk of Paderborn, Paderborn, St. Ferdinand of Portugal, also, and let's also ask St. Franco of Assurgi to pray for us, let's ask all the saints to pray for us, let's pray for the souls in purgatory, and let's pray for conversion of the Americas, the North, South, Central America, or a particular country or countries of that area, which I believe would be an example to the world. I truly think, I think Cuba would be a really awesome choice to have the Catholic, the Catholic, the, the Holy Spirit bring the Catholic Church into Cuba and basically overpower the communists. The Holy Spirit can overpower anything. Certainly it can overpower a stupidity like the concept of, 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 of communism or socialism, which has never proven to work yet. So why people, including today, young people say, oh, socialism, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, in theory, it sounds reasonable. The, the, the concept of taking from the rich so that they're poor or less poor, but then everybody's poor. Uh, you basically end up with everyone poor and it never worked. And the government who has to oversee this always becomes corrupt. It has never, show me, in, it's never in history worked. So why, young people, do you think it's gonna work today? We can't even tell what a boy and a girl is anymore. I could look at you and tell you I'm a woman and you would have to believe me. And some of you fools would look and go, sure, if you say you're a woman, if you identify as a woman. Well, no, that's it's not really how it works. You're either a woman or you're not. Remember your science? Check my blood. It'll come up male. Check her blood. It'll come up female. That's how these things work. We Christians, we Catholics do believe in science. So anyway, 
let's ask the saints to pray for us. God help us, really. Holy Spirit, come Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of, our, of your faithful and kindle in us the fire of your love.